there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today, we're checking out a game that's actually on the... Essentially, this is a free-to-play Friday, I suppose. I mean, I, I'm not too sure if I actually... F2P Fridays is kind of a good idea because it keeps such a large gap between episodes. But, um, yeah. Free-to-play games on the PlayStation Network is getting to the point where there's a regular release of them kind of coming out every couple of months, either here in the EU or in USA or over in Hong Kong or Japan, and this particular one is um, as about mind-numbing and distracting as Adventure Capitalist, and I can't help it. I keep playing, I keep putting it on. I'm not going to be showing you guys like the very beginning of gameplay here, because I have been playing it since the game released, and it's, it's slowly driving me insane. I don't... I, I like it. I like it because these are like the mindless games. Like if I'm watching a podcast uh, or watching a video and something that I actually want to enjoy and watch, but I still want to be gaming, I throw these on in the background. Oh, welcome back. While you're away, your heroes found 490 trillion gold just for you. Oh, that's nice of them. Aww. So, um, yeah, while I've been sitting here, this has actually been just beating the crap out of things and giving me loads and loads of money. So, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, boom, boom, boom. The game is played... Like a clicker, you just click the button, I'm making the cookies, I'm selling the cookies, and once I make the cookies and sell the cookies, then I buy more cookies, and that's how I get to the cookies, and the cookies are great, aren't they? Yes, oh my god, look at this game, it's so entertaining. All oh, this is a series of numbers jumping up on the screen. I can't help it, I can't stop playing it. Somebody help me! Ah, it's frustrating that this is actually like, um, pretty much... This is actually a very easily distracting game that can just take up far too much time of your life. So, basic premise of it is RPG video game with cookie clicker uh, mechanics where you have automation where it's kicking away the button, but if you wanted it to go faster, you can hit the button to make it go faster. Send you to beat down enemies, and you have to go from level to level to level, killing so many of each, and then every once in a while, fighting a boss which has a much higher HP. So essentially, they just tank you every single time. And um, you start off with like one or two heroes, and you work your way up until you have all these heroes, all different types of ones, and you have all these heroes with all their powers that tell you exactly what they do differently, and you can pull that away so you can see the character art a little bit better. And you just keep buying heroes, and you keep moving on so you can get more achievements, and you can get all the stats here to show how well you're playing it. And over here on the side, you can actually use special skills that actually get unlocked as you go along. And you spend them. So really, obviously, this is a... Oh, hang on. Free item. <coughs> obviously, this is a mobile game that's be tap screen invented where you tap on the enemy. But um, because you're actually doing it on a console, you have to use this. I mean, I'm really surprised that they didn't bother putting a trackpad function in this to move around the options. But it's reasonably easy and intuitive to work your way around. And I am only going to play this until I have enough... Uh, I've, until I've got the, all the achievements that are unlocked for it, which is going, of course, going to be near impossible for it to forever to do. But if I just throw like five minutes into this as I go along, I don't get distracted, don't get upset by it. But I can see the frustration that it can build. I mean, essentially, as you buy one thing, everything else unlocks, and you move on to the next level, and you move on to the next level. So uh, there we go, 25, bam, 100. That puts that one up there, and now that character's maxed out. So what I need to do in this one is go up to level 50, buy that one, up to 75, buy that one. <laughs> Up to 100, buy that one. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm just going to higher and higher. Oh, I couldn't even afford that one. Oh, whoopsie. Let's see here. Uh, level up to... What's that need to be? 10. All right, one, two, 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 10. And I can buy that one. And I can buy 10 more. And one, two, three, four, five. Unlocks that one. And I go up to 25. Can I afford 25 of them? Yes, I can. Bam, unlock that one. <laughs> buy that one, bam, bam, buy those two, why not? <laughs> uh, can't afford that one, so I can afford 25 more of that one. So, yep, I can get that one up there. And all those characters are going to be doing so much more ba damage for me. As you can see, they're working their way through, just murdering everything on that screen. We do that to the next one, and you work your way up onto the next one, and it just continues on, and continues on, and ad for item. So you can just essentially get to the point where you'll just get unbelievably frustrated with it and want to move on so what uh, all these things i can beat the crap out of oh every once in a while you see things appear on the left hand side and you press them and you click them especially i think it was actually you tap the fish sometimes you get the in shop rubies that you'd be using to buy more stuff and all these things are bought with in-game currency uh or 
currency that you can buy from the game. Gilded Heroes, of course, sends you getting all the skills and all the things unlocked so they're maxed out to their maximum. This is obviously going to eat some people's money. Ancient? What's this? Oh, so essentially, because I, I've got to a certain character, which one did I get? Uh, Ice Wizards or something like that? Probably whenever I unlocked that character or I unlocked some of these, it allowed me to summon an Ancient, and the Ancient can do like a mass amount of damage against the boss. That's super useful. That would mean actually I can do more damage and make my way up. But again, these are all like single skills that can be used for a period of time. Zero hero souls ascend for one. So I'm assuming you can actually get increase the quality of these guys with uh, hero souls that you unlock by actually completing these. Or probably like wiping your character, wiping one of these characters back down to zero. And if they're wiped down to zero, then you have to level them up again with the money that you get. But it becomes easier and easier as you have more money. Literally... Clicker Heroes is what you think it is, if you've ever played any of the games of these type. I'm... I don't massively fussed on these games, because of what they imply, essentially, like, you can play these games, they will fill your time, but there's no value in its content, it is just a time filler. This is the kind of stuff that you'd be playing on your mobile phone while you're sitting on a toilet, but there's so many other things you could be doing with your life, like making videos like this, talking about how much they are a waste of your lifetime. But, um, of course, we're not going to go digging down into that hole, because then we'll just realize that uh, my life is meaningless. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. This has been another episode for Passy to Skin, looking at the games that are available on the PlayStation Network all around the world. So, this has been a Free Play Friday, and I'm glad you actually joined me to watch it, and we will probably speak again very, very soon. Because if you hit the subscribe button up there, you're going to know every single time I put up one of these episodes. And if you hit the buttons over here, you can actually look at other videos where I'm blathering on about them as well. So there'll be a wee section for Free Play Friday, and then of course, I uh, recommend episodes and most recent stuff that's been up here on the channel. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.